we uh, we're just getting up in the morning here. We were. Uh, it was nice. They put out like some bedding for us and stuff last night. Mm -hmm. Butter tea. It's really hard to handle. This is uh, good. So we're meeting with the head mama right now. And uh, this is one of the ways that they do a uh, blessing. And it's really nice to bring out candy and, uh, and some more uh, yak butter tea. Uh, hand cold? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, hot. Lord, I thank you that this man is a leader of this place, Father God, and I ask that you would pour forth your Holy Spirit upon him, Lord, that you would reveal yourself unto him, Father, Lord, that he would see the truth and he would know, Father God, Lord, that he would lead others into your witness, into your truth, Father God, Lord, may he speak great words, Father, Lord, may he be a man of strength, honor, and courage, Father God, Lord, may he step out towards you, and may he make his witness strong, we thank you for his kindness. And Lord, you say, any house that receives a sin, that we say, peace be upon it. Lord, we say, peace be upon this place, and we believe it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you, we shared of Christ and prayed for the head lama, but this was just the first steps. In the months to come, the monasteries would be our home, and we'd continue to preach Christ Jesus. But what would happen to the villages we didn't reach? What would happen to those just beyond the next mountain? When would they hear the gospel? Every day we pray that more workers will be sent into the harvest so that every tribe, nation, and tongue might know the salvation in Him. It is our mission and it is our heart.